What we do... People don't water. eat termite mounds where Adolfi Aguila is from, but Aguila does have something in common with his guide. It's good for, for iron. Yep, Tess Atty is an indigenous Australian, an aborigine. Aguila is an indigenous Filipino, chief of the Tagbanwa tribe from the island of Coron. He's one of many in Australia for a gathering of indigenous people from around the world. What is out in? It's good for me to meet other indigenous people, to hear their experiences, to learn what problems they've faced and how they've solved them. Excursions aside, the main meeting has been in nearby Darwin. Over a thousand people gathered from more than 50 different countries. New Zealand. Malaysia. Kenya. Chile. They're here, most courtesy of the Australian government, for the first ever meeting of the World Indigenous Network, bringing indigenous people together to share their ideas. The experience is the same for First Nations people all over the world. It's, you know, we've been dispossessed from our land and knowing that there are other people on the other side of the world who are also connected to their country through culture and community is a really important story and connection that we all share. There have been discussions on how best to manage traditional lands and waterways, how to preserve language, what to do when mining and logging companies come knocking and how best to push for political influence. Many of these uh, local and indigenous communities here now are in situations where they feel that they've been sidelined for a while and they haven't actually been in the general political discourse. For indigenous Australians, many who've also made the trip to the Northern Territory, the battle is recognition. Australia's constitution includes no positive mention of indigenous people and no reference to the fact Australia was even inhabited before white settlers arrived. It's a very sore point, yes, because um, with us being the traditional owners of Australia and the land itself, I think we should have more say than anybody what happens. Politicians are united in support of a change to the constitution, but aren't sure most Australians are. A referendum's the aim, but it won't be held until it's thought it'll be won. Indigenous issues are often thought of as country-specific, but similar themes crop up in places which geographically have little in common. Australia's indigenous people think they have lots to share, but also much to learn. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, in the Litchfield National Park near Darwin.